terrible So terrible in your way You are powerful So powerful in your way uh, You are glorious So glorious in your way You are glorious, so glorious in your way. You are wonderful, you are wonderful, so wonderful in your way. You are righteousness, you are righteousness, so righteous in your way. You are righteousness, eh? You are righteousness, so righteous in your way. You are powerful, God. You are powerful, so powerful in your way. You are powerful, so powerful in your way. so powerful in your way We chant in the Holy Ghost uh -huh. hey, uh -huh. We chant in the Holy Ghost uh -huh. hey, hey, uh -huh. We chant in the Holy Ghost uh -huh.
That will be refined once again. Maranatha, oh come, the wind of the spirit. Maranatha. Oh, come the kingdom. That's what we need tonight, Jesus. Maranatha. Oh, come the wind of the spirit. Tonight, Maranatha, oh, come, the wind of the Spirit, Maranatha, oh, come, the King of the Maranatha, Maranatha, oh, come, that be viewed upon every one of us. Of the spirit, that our coming here will not be in vain, Jesus. That our coming here will not be in vain, Jesus. Maranada, hold on the wind of the spirit, Maranada. Cloud by day and a fire by night. Cloud by day and a fire by night. Feel of cloud by day and a fire by night. Feel of cloud by day and a fire by night. Feel of cloud by day and a fire by night. Feel of cloud by day and a fire by night. Oh, Shekina, view this place. Shekina, yes you are. Shekina, glory for. Oh, oh, oh. Shekina, view this place. Shekina. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I believe we are set for the word and the fire encounter tonight once again. And with a clavering ovation, I want us to welcome the set man for grace for all men international. Uh, you can do better than that. You can do better than that. I want you to welcome Prophet Abraham Adebayo for his word ministration. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We have come to the last stage of the conference. Should I call it a conference or a meeting? And it is the last session, but not the last day. So I like you to, because there is always a mindset 
and that man said his vocation by the enemy please can you put up this amen and what is that mindset that mindset is always this that um, when a meeting like this is ending for many that is where the matter ends that's why I said it is the last session of this meeting we are not going to be holding another one tomorrow as a matter of fact this week till next week the the gathering will not be holding we shall be on we shall be on recess the only meetings that will be coming up are meetings of prayers where men we meet to pray but I want to say this to everyone here that the dealings continues the dealings continues there are many things the Lord wants to touch tonight and I pray in the name of Jesus he will touch them Amen. I say he will touch them I want to re-emphasize something that the servant of God said yesterday when he started when you come to medical chamber are you with me? you don't take any responsibility but when it is consecration chamber are you with me? It's a partnership. It's a partnership. And because it is a partnership, there must be a depth of willingness that comes as a result of a holy desire. by which a man comes into the posture that God designed so that such a man can enter into the heart of God for meetings like this. So, my first labor tonight is to bring you to a place where the Lord sees that which he wants to see on the inside of you then he comes are you with me amen amen I know you have read the story of the burning bush how many of you are aware of it you have read that story it was, it was a supernatural sight that should catch the attention of any man. How many of you know that? But I see the Lord waiting to see what to do with that. The Bible said, and the Lord appeared to Moses. The angel of the Lord appeared. To, when you hear that word, the angel of the Lord, yeah, it's not talking about an angel from heaven. It's talking about the presence of God. The manifest presence of God himself. And when God came, God did not just appear anyhow. God came in a flame of what? A fire. Out of the midst of the bush and he looked and behold the bush burned. you see something 
something catches my attention here the bible says Moses looked and behold the bush burned with fire and the bush was not consumed praise God the bush was not, please I like you to give me attention don't be distracted But the Lord was waiting. What did the Lord say to him here? Huh? I can't hear you. What did the Lord say to him here? Nothing. Nothing. Verse 3. And Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight. Why the bush is not burnt? Verse 4. This is where the encounter happened. The Bible says, and when the Lord saw that he turned. The Lord waited. You see, that manifestation that day will have been wasted. A am I talking to you? It wasn't that the Lord did not manifest. But that manifestation, that it was mighty, massive. Ah, have you ever seen it before? Ah, ah, I'm sorry, I graduated an accident. I started science. Don't ask me what happened. Amen. But with the little science I, I, I did when I was in second school, I know that a flame will continue as long as the objects object is combustible am i talking to you so as long as the object is no longer combustible then the fire goes out is that not talk to me now uh, you you don't know that one uh, so when we talk about law you can come in amen hallelujah but this is a flame that the object is not combustible Yet the fire continues. You don't understand? So it means the fuel of that fire is not from that object. And that's a revelation. It's a revelation. That there is something that God wants to do with you that you are not, you are not sufficient to sustain. It takes the God that wants to do it to sustain it. You understand? Uh -huh. So that's what God wants to do with Moses. Moses does not have what it takes. But God himself is able. So it's a revelation that God is giving Moses. You understand what I'm saying now? Now, now that, 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 let's just leave that one. So that's what I'm interested in is that that sight is enough for man to say, hey, something had happened here. But God was waiting to see whether Moses will turn. So actually a man can see that thing and say, mm, it's one of those things. And that will be the end. He saw something, oh, but the encounter was not there. Uh, you see, the labor tonight is that the Lord will help you. Kai, Father. Amen. 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 Ha. The Lord is not allowing me to point you out, but I, I can see you. Yeah. don't be desperate to start a relationship now you will crash because this is the last chance that the Lord is giving you to come into the circle of process so that you can give back to that destiny on the inside of you there is a grace of the prophetic that want to open up on the inside of you I'm talking to someone that person is here that person is here But if you are desperate and then you just want to start something that thing you start that thing that you want to start we finish what God wants to start in you.
The Lord, the Lord is telling me, oh, okay. Let me give you the perfect description of yourself so that you know you are the one I'm talking to. You have entered into a relationship and then those relationships wounded you. You messed up. And as you are coming out of one, you are entering into another one to patch up your emotional wound. Can I say it? Hey. Mm. As you are coming out of one, you are entering into another one. And then you come out. You enter. You come out. You... The Lord is asking me to ask you to stop. If he permits me, if I probe further and I discover you are not getting this, I will tell you you are the one. The Lord wants to bring you into a circle of purification so that it can restore back on the inside of you the strength to stand and say no because where God is taking you is far you are dealing with what you are dealing with now is <laughs> they are small babes by the time what God wants to open on the inside of you begin to come, big things will come. So if you crash before small weight now, eh? Eh? when you race with men and you are tired, what happens to you when you race with horses? Eh? The Lord is telling me it is not time for that relationship. No, don't allow anybody to put you in that pressure. See, I'm raising my hand so that you know you are the one. Who... Amen. I was saying something before that revelation came. Mm. I've been offered to a deity. And now I am a sacrifice. The life that I live is not my own. Now listen. Haruna ziakam parati samabalosha rakisu kabalante himaba. Lektona kako raze andana mahati zemeladi itusi kabalaya. Yezoli nduri hanta kababi himanzuli hakuba hata. Now he is here and his presence is strong. Now listen. Listen, listen, listen. Don't sing yet. Don't sing. Don't sing. That song came not because I want you to sing. That song came just to remind some of you. It's a, it's a message that God wants to pass. It's a prophetic message. Reverend Tolu has sent me to a mode when he was living in the morning that God will just allow me to teach tonight. You know, he said, the eyes of the prophet has been opened. And when he uttered that statement, I said, God, help us. Now, there are some of you here, not even a great number of you here. You are of a generation that has been marked for now. Huh? For now. But this matter of impurity has delayed your entering into purpose. As a matter of fact, some of you, you are running out of time. But the deity that you have been offered to is ready to fight. He's saying, it is either you are useful for me or I waste you. I know some people will say that one does not sound like grace. You don't understand. You don't understand. That when a man is offered to a spirit, when you are dedicated to the spirit. Huh? Is it that you go the way of that spirit? Or that spirit will truncate everything? Right. Words has been spoken above your life before you were born. And then the time to enter into that destiny has come. The devil saw it. And like Samson, 
you know, I think I had a lesson here some when we were talking about consecration. I don't know if you remember. Hmm? That before before a dead lion will produce honey. Huh? Before B will enter that lion, flies must have first entered the place. I mean, if you remember. Uh -huh. And flies is nothing but to bring the king. And Samson should not talk. So before Samson will take honey, flies are already. Flies took their turn before honey came. It is a cry tonight that your air will not just grow again while you are blind. Because the air grew back, but Samson was already blind. Samson was already blind. So it was not useful for anything than to die with his enemy. Yes, the Bible recorded that the people he killed at the end were greater than the people that he killed all the day of his life. But tell me one disciple he raised. And after Samson, what other man did you hear again? I've been offered to a deity, and now I am a sacrifice. The life that I live is not all my own. I've been offered to a deity, and now I am a sacrifice. The life that I live is not my own. Spirit, consume, consume, consume me more and more. As I consume, consume, consume me more and more. I've been offered to a deity and I am a sacrifice. The life that I live is not my own. Now, listen, there's going to be an exchange tonight. How many of you are ready for it? But let's finish this matter of Moses. You see, Moses, hey. hey. So God can actually come and you will see that God, this is not normal, yet you will miss it. So the encounter that happened that day was not just a matter of God organizing it alone. Moses also took a step. And that is the chamber you have. It's a chamber where you need to be deliberate Otherwise, hey, God will come. He will come as a refiner's fire. <laughs> and it will come like a full of soap. But what are those that will be refined? They are those that have turned. The Bible says, and, and when the Lord saw, it was, the, so the, the Lord was waiting. Now, do you know how many do you know how many generations that have been waiting for Moses huh? do you know 400 years before he was born the Lord has spoken to Abraham it, no more than 400 years what am I saying more than 400 years more than 400 years that will almost be a thousand years before he was born. Or eight hundred years before he was born. The Lord has spoken to Abraham. Say, look. Your, gener your descendants will go down to Egypt. And they will be enslaved for four hundred years. And after that four hundred years. I will come. And visit them and bring. And the nation that enslaved them. I will punish them. Now, that word had come from the mouth of God. So. 
the man that God will use. Do you know that by the time you read this thing in Exodus chapter 12, you are going to discover that even Moses was 30 years late. Hello. How many years late? 30 years late. Because by the time Israelites are coming out of the land, it was 430 years. And God said 400. 30 years late. Yet, what was God doing? Could it be that right from that 40 years that Moses knew that I don't belong to Egypt? Could it be that God was waiting for him the way God was waiting here? For him to turn. And God waited for another 40 years. I don't know what will have happened if Moses will miss this one. So before we begin to teach tonight, before we begin to teach tonight, there is, there is a sister here. The sister is listening to me now. You are given the mandate of an intercessor but the Lord is telling me something is now going wrong with your affection because of the things you hear and the things you see. You have not actually entered into anything too messy. But your, your desire is shifting. It's drifting away. It's drifting away. It's drifting away. If you are that person, before we are done tonight, <laughs> Amen. You will come to this place. And if you are listening to us online, and you will have to hit that place where you are listening to us because that place is the holy ground. Because God came to you there. And something will be done to your desire. So that the children that God asks you to nurse in the place of intercession, you will not abandon them and begin to pray for the will of God in marriage. I have seen it. There is marriage in your destiny, but it won't come because you pray for it. It will come because you fulfill my will. Then I will take you to the man. So, amen. Sorry, you are still standing. Don't worry, you sit down. Tonight, I may not even be able to preach. I may just say one or two things. Then we go to him. Because tonight again, we are going to come to him. Are you with me? This matter must come, must come to a large proportion before today. So that when we depart from this place, are you with me? The work is done to a larger extent. That the enemy will find it very difficult for him to reverse it. That's our labor tonight. But the Lord is waiting for Moses to turn. Amen. And how many of you know that an act of turning is an act of will? Do you agree with me? It's an act of will. Actually, the Lord is saying to me now that he will be touching some things now in your heart and then God will be telling you this one, this one. There must be a, an act of will to say, God, I turn. Where were the sheep that Moses was following when he turned? Huh? <laughs> where? I can't hear. Where were they? Now, you, you know that this place is a wilderness, oh? So wolves can come after them. But at that time, the sheep don't matter anymore. There was an act of will to turn. Can I say this to you? There shall be legitimate reason for you not to turn. 
But if you don't, you missed it. Next year may not come. Home. You know, do, how many of you had those prophetic words that we are uttered about 2021? Okay. So tonight, I like you to come to a place of supplicating. Lord, raise in me the will to turn. Amen. Did you hear me? Raise in me the what? The will to turn. Amen. If the Lord places his finger on a relationship and say this one <laughs> must huh? must be burnt. Mm. She Aha. That is the point of Tony. You understand it now? <laughs> Amen. Amen. If that hello, if that person becomes too precious for you, then you are not willing to talk. You will either hold that person. Hold your destiny in purity. None of you are willing to pray. So it is a place where God must help you tonight. Hayataka biliasa mahua. Ah, ton femi she lo do juma. O si mo una kuro ti ko je ke mi le wi pe she that is it that is it please don't tell me i don't have power no you have it because it's in you mm. Greater is it the one in you than the one where. So, so are you with me? Uh, hello? And you know something. You know something. You know something. You by heart believe unto righteousness. And by mouth you make confession unto what? Salvation. So if you say it in your heart that I can't and you profess it in your mouth, even when it's inside it will be weak. Don't make the great God in you weak. You can because it's in you. You can. You can tell that man no more. Hello? You can tell that man no more. You can tell that sister no more. You can walk out of that relationship. It is possible. It is possible. It's in you. It is possible. Ah, don't fear me, she lo do you ma. Sing it from your heart. Kosi mo na kuro, ti ko je ke mi le wi pe she. you cry to him and say, Lord, raise in me tonight. I don't know how many people are willing to pray now. The willingness to talk. Yeah. You the fiery one, oh God, you have appeared on the, tonight. The fire is here, there's no doubt, oh God. 
that I may turn and by turning that my change may come. Is that your cry tonight? I am a cartel in Mahasobala. Mele Swaka. Iria Zama. Atana Makuba Lakeshi and the Habu. Meritani Kabi in Mahasun Silikaba. Ilayatan Dilima Bi Ya Ruakatilada. Aru Zama. Zama me. Zama ni Makua Balada. In Atili Kamali. Non Sikabalu Atili Maku Barasa. Rezu Allahi nana makumba le kitamba melata Rasu ale kaya dana mahali ba Irima tele ki makumba le kita wasa la katali daba Arwa saba ma le tu kaya Kaya daba mi Yeli araba mili makata Oh Lord that we may turn That the willingness of God may come Shikapi atwa You are waiting, you are waiting Oh, that you will not wait in vain. That you will not wait in vain. That you will not wait in vain, Father. That you will not wait in vain. Shia kata adama mekote li inko baka siria rasele kaba wali na na makabe lati sana hado makombala kati si. That you will not wait in vain. That you will not wait in vain. That you will not wait in vain. song so that you can cry. Amen. Lenoka Rosimma Balahatu Zelahatuash. Now listen. Panukuta Nakati Adam Mahatu Sawa. Reso Wakatalia Makamba Hadina Matuzia. Now listen. He created you to look like him. Is that not? Huh? So until you see him, you don't know yourself. Until you see him, you don't know yourself. See, can I say this to you? 
your standard is not your pastor. It is he that created you. Now listen, listen, listen. That's why you are going to sing that song and you are going to cry. Ah. Until my holy gaze is you, spirit keep brooding over me. Till I look more like you. How many of you are willing to cry that song? Until my holy gaze is you. Spirit keep brooding over me. Ah, till I look more like you. Now hear this. Hear this. Hear this. Now, Daniel. In the days when Isaiah began to see things and began to speak. Then Isaiah came in contact with the Lord. And then he saw the train of the Lord fill the whole temple. And he saw what surrounded the Lord. Now that wasn't a, a transaction in the outer court. Hello? That wasn't a transaction in the outer court. See, fire is not administered until you see him. Am I talking to you? Fire is not what? You see, when Moses turned, Moses saw him and he introduced himself to Moses and that was all. That did he tell Moses? Eh? I'm the God of Abraham. Moses was asking him question. Tell them I am that said that there was no nothing more. When Isaiah saw him, huh? Isaiah did not join the chorus of heaven. The song was not what Isaiah was learning. Isaiah came out with a verdict about himself. You know why? Isaiah saw him and saw the standard he is to measure up to. And Isaiah said, Whoa, it's me. For I am, I am what? Now, if you are a woman and then you understand the language of kitchen, when they say something is undone, what happens? Eh? it's not fully, I love that word it's not fully, cool. it means a process has been truncated something had happened to a process that made that thing started somewhere but where it should end, it didn't end there so this food is undone it is not like the standard Isaiah, something started but got truncated at a point you are yet to look like the one you should look like and when he saw him he said God I'm on the you see if we are the one trying to show you this matter I'm telling you we will struggle but when you see it you will cry I am undone and when that matter came fire was administered how many of you remember the fire will not be administered until you see it until you see him. Until you see him. Until you see him. Lord, that I may see you tonight. And the fire be administered. You will not sit down until. Until this matter. I may not preach much. Lord is our cry tonight <laughs> It's our cry tonight That you will see you And not just to see you But that we become Ah 
we will become higher. Harasa kabala. Oh, we will become. We will become. Shida ni akabara suna hadaha. Oh, that we shall see you, and we shall become. And the fire will be administered. We shall see you and we see the standard then the fire be administered ah. <laughs> in Jesus name we have prayed amen the Lord, the Lord spoke to me now that was why I stopped the prayer we are still going to pray amen don't worry if it pleases the Lord, we'll teach. But if it pleases the Lord, this day we are going to continue. Amen. Amen. Let me ask you. As, as we continue, are you instructed? Yes, sir. Huh? Uh-huh. That's it. Listen. Don't carry the arrogance of at least I'm okay. I don't have problem with lust. See, when gold is found, are you with me now? It does not look dirty on the outside. Huh? When it is found, people say, wow, treasure is found. But that's a useless treasure. Huh? My father in faith had promised to come tonight. He missed the time in the morning. That's why he couldn't make it. He called me around 10 and I was like, when are you starting the morning session? I said, daddy, we are sorry. We ended the session. Hallelujah. So if you see me eh, run to meetings where you think, ah, yes, sir, but you are a man of uh, whatever now. Say, be your prophet. Why are you in the... I have been to Baba Gwilia Kanis in Boko. And when Baba finished the first mission, I made other call, I ran. One of my dear ones were watching the video when I came back. And then when they saw Baba made other call, and then they saw, they saw me in the video, they said, sir, you answer other call. I say, the matter concern. If you carry the arrogance of what well, nothing is wrong with me now. I I tell you, you don't understand that you are still wrong. Hello? You are still what? You are crude. And that's that one we that one will help you. Eh? Crude oil is not useful. Huh? Until it is refined, you understand what I'm saying now. Uh, so you are crude. Don't, don't ah, uh, Esha, by the grace of God, at least uh, I have not fallen. Sisters, I know the boundary I put them. Ah, uh, I pity you. I pity you. You don't understand. You don't. There are many of you here that the devil is waiting for you at the junction of Maritas. He's waiting for that sister. He knows that you are struggling. Eh? He knows that. He knows very well that you are struggling. That the only thing that has kept you back is because that sister has not yet come. So he's waiting. Don't say, wait. We are going to see whether it's lustful or not when that sister says yes. That's when all manners of kissing will now come. That you will not be able to confess to your father in faith. Except, except you have a father like some fathers hallelujah that will actually look at you and say come you know those fathers ba? come what did you do tell me hallelujah but you know something the day the day you see even that is a definite mercy of the lord huh? a man comes to a place where god will show nothing to your father in faith so you continue to die you continue to rot i want 
the man sees you, the man says, Ah, a strong man, and he gives you a microphone. And you too, under that deceptive thing, you come and then you manifest. You think you are the one manifesting. No, God only spoke because his people must hear his voice. Yes, and you are the only available vessel. You, you, you don't understand? Yes, eh? you, you don't know? So, they have given you the microphone already, and he must talk. So he does, he does say, Okay. Um, at least we spoke to a donkey the other time. Oh, you don't understand. I said at least we spoke to a donkey. So let's just let's just manage this one for the time being. And then you confuse that one for divine approval. There are many pastors like that, oh. Eh? You think that is hot? It is not hot. It is because the pulpit has been structured in a way that it is the pastor that we teach every Sunday. Uh, you understand? Now? Uh -huh. So, and God must talk to his people. So God just said, for the time being, let's just package him until we finish him the way we finish Saul. Then we bring a David. Ah. Oh, they say you are, you are the president of the chapter and then you are misbehaving and things are still happening. No, God knows your eternal will end now. Your tunnel will continue forever. Eh? Even after pandemic, school will resume. Eh? So your tunnel will end. As soon we cancel strike. Eh? Then you will go back now. Your tunnel, you will hand over. And God will say, okay, good radiance to bad rubbish. All you will get from me is that they call you Papa or true. That's your reward. I don't want you to come to the place of this arrogance of ah no nothing is wrong with me I'm okay let me just pray for others eh. I want you to cry <laughs> I want you to cry how many of you want to pray now how many of you want to pray I have one prayer point for you it is hot by the help of the spirit of ask God Lord Take me to the fire chamber now. Ah, <laughs> that's a prayer. Uh -huh. I, I, you cry to God from your heart. Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. now, I, I, yeah, I see sincere men. Oh. Uh, wherever you are, cry to him. Now. Take me now. <laughs> the fire chamber now. Uh -huh. Sisters cry. Oh, every cry to God. Uh, uh, oh, oh, you better cry to him. Now. Take me to the fire chamber now. Lord, Lord willingly I submit to. Oh, willingly. Willingly I submit to. Oh, Willingly I submit. Lock the fire chamber. Yes. And keep the intensity of the heat until every impurity is separated. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Take me there now. God, now I willingly submit. I am willing to go. Uh -huh. Pray it. Oh, pray it. Cry to God now. To that fire chamber, Lord, until everything that is not like you. Is somebody crying to God? Is somebody crying to God? Ah! You have just two more minutes to pray that prayer. Take me to let the intense 
city. Continue, oh God, until everything that is not like you is out. Until everything that is not like you is out. name we are afraid amen <laughs> now listen to me the Lord said to me now he said I will break trends I hear God now say I will break trends I will break trends I will break trends it has become a trend but the Lord said I will end it you will be a beginning of something new that character will not swallow you no no I will break trend I will break trend I will break trend I will break trend inana 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 so. In a now, in a now, Lord, so I will break trend. I will break trend. I will break trend. I will break trend. That attitude, that habit that caught up with men, will not catch up with you. Will not catch up with you. Will not catch up with you. Ari na matia kabala hata swaha. Erwa sanamaya. Ika barasi na katahanda na moho. Yeah, 
Yes, that attitude is consumed now. Pili kabarakasa, adena mahabaha. Area katasi adema, hana yaya. Ori zaba, ori zaba, bara katali yama. Enento kabakuta si anda, hana mahola. Thank you. Amen. Now listen. Listen. There are a lot of work that God is doing now. The Lord said to me now, He said, I will bring you to a dimension of burning that can handle territorial impurities. Ash. Eh. Inanna, inanna. Inanna walewa Inanna 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 samidina Inanna 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 walewa Inanna 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 samidina Inanna 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 walewa Inanna inanna can you engage the Holy Ghost now? Can you engage the Holy Ghost now? There is an intensity of flame that the Lord wants to bring you into. That any territory becomes impossible. It becomes impossible for territorial impurity to swallow you. Can you engage the Holy Ghost now? What swallows men in land can no longer swallow you. Harima Abakaba Sabala Adenosh. There is an intensity of burning. Hey, in the law, 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 so me, you know, it is an intent. There is an intensity, it's a flame from above. Kaya Daba, Maba, Bakota, Lahata, Sabaha. Erakatalia shada bahale no moshi abaha. Periza bakatole anda mahata zaya. Please be deliberate now. Be deliberate now. Be intentional. Be intentional. Be intentional. Let him burn. Thank you. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Men with Puritan culture will arise. Men that will, men that are too much for territories. Men that are stronger than impurity in a territory. I will raise men like Daniel again. Men that will not bow to the deities of the of the palace. Men that will stand in the place of purity and intercession, and they will flush out principalities and powers. once again arise men that iniquity will offer itself to and yet they will
will say no they will say no it is the season i will see it and i will purify i will purge i will purge i will purge i hear the voice enter the number enter the number come into the number come into the number I come into the number, come into the number. I will sit on those that are willing and I will purge. I will purge. Men that will take over institutions, tertiary institutions again will once again rise up in the flames of holiness i will refine i will refine said the lord of hosts ah holy fire fall upon my altar from within me spirit you take over Holy fire, fall upon my heart. Holy fire, fall upon my heart. From within me, spirit you take over. Holy fire, fall upon my heart. it will be purity i will purge 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 mm, holy fire run upon my heart oh from within me Spirit you take over Holy fire God upon my heart It is not a strange fire It's a holy fire It's a fire that will generate a purified life ay, 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 ay. It is fire that has zero tolerance for impurity Puritan culture. Palada Mako Balakia Sada Nayada. A generation, their symbol will be the cross. Their symbol will be the cross. Amakatilia Dabasha. It is not to them an ornament. But an evidence of a life that has been crucified. Hallelujah! Shabala hada na mahatazaya. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Weep no more, O wretched. For I shall raise children in the landscape. They shall not be few. There shall be many. Yes. I 
and their identity shall be purity. They are sons and daughters that I have waned from the appetite of the things of this world. Thou shalt once again be consoled, O thou Zion. Thou shalt once again see thy king in holiness. Arise, shine, for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Hear this. Amen. 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 Kalo Dabasha. Kalo Dabasha. Listen. 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 Hear the voice of the Lord. I will rescue children from wrong fathers. In the coming year. Anna shall have seven and Penina shall lost all. Listen, 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 listen. And I will rescue their new fathers from wrong children. It is going to be a year of separating the child from the wheat. I will bring my church to a place where any voice that is not a pure one will lose relevance. There are many tents I have spread because once the ones I called was faithful with me and I fulfill my vow. I spread them to the right, to the left, and to the front and to the back. But now they've stepped back and been faithful to me. I will close them up. The one year space as the one year space cycle of them being spared has been completed. I will cut them down. I see. I'm looking at you. I pray the fire will touch you. And you will get it before you leave here. Because I see something insulating you from the flame. I've been looking at you since. And you need to pray and rescue yourself from companies that will not help you. You are listening to me. I'm talking to you and as a prophet of God. You need to break yourself loose. And listen, don't let anything make you feel you have touched it. You have not. You need to come to a place where you need to be sat upon genuinely. So that the things hidden can be brought to the open. May God give you grace. To be humble in the days of your dealings. Hallelujah. There are things I would have loved to bring to the fore, but let's spare that from here. Now, listen, I'm bringing it to a close tonight. But before I bring it to a close, I will tell you two things, and we are going to pray. Oh, Jesus. I really wanted to teach tonight. But you know how I found out that this is tonight will look like? He asked me to leave my house around three. And then when I left, I entered the chamber. And in that chamber, I, I suspect that something of this nature will happen. Now, listen. He told me this. When a man continues in the path of impurity, it comes to a point where even when the fire comes, there is nothing to redeem again. Father, 
Give us Jeremiah chapter 6. I like God to see it. Give us Jeremiah chapter 6. Jeremiah chapter 6. I like God to see it. I say see it. I like you all to see it. Well, you may sit down if you want to, but I like you all to see it. In the days when the master is speaking, may you hear not hear another thing. Jeremiah chapter 6. Give us Jeremiah chapter 6. Let's read verse 30. He said, Reprobate silver shall men call them because the Lord hath rejected them. Did you see that? How did the silver become reprobate? It comes to a point where the dross in the silver has taken over the silver. That by the time the silver smith, are you with me now? Yes, sat on it to refine it and bring out the silver. The dross was so much that there was nothing left of the silver. Yes, so at that point, the silver smith will say, This one is a waste. There is nothing more in it. It becomes a rejected silver. Oh, that's amplified version. He said, They call them rejected silver, only dross without value. Because the Lord has rejected him. You see, when a generation gets to this point, God gave that generation up. And then they come to a place where, are, are you with me? They, they lost every capacity for good. That's a generation that God will wipe out. A time came like that for a generation. They are the generation that should enter the promised land, but the Lord said this one. You will walk the land that you perish and I will bring another generation into it. This generation is drifting towards that level. That was why the Lord brought this rescue. We are a people that we are drifting towards a direction that if God does not come, are you with me? Our tongues will be loud. Our voices will be metallic. We will be skillful in playing instruments. We will be very good at organizing programs. Are you with me? But the substance will not be there. You see, our programs will be thousands, but none will scare the devil. Amen. Yet, are you with me? There is, oh, Father, show us mercy. Show us mercy. You don't know why the enemy is pushing this impurity. Huh? Ha. Ah. Ha. Ah. He knows that no matter the height you have gotten to, the day God finds impurity in you, will throw you away. He will throw you. He is of a purer eyes. He cannot be evil. <laughs> so the day he finds it in you. Mm. Now, amen. The height of Lucifer was the height of walking upon the stones of fire. But the day God found impurity in him. He said till iniquity was found in you. And you corrupted thy beauty. And God threw him away. Like a filthy thing. So he. Ah. Uh, I love that. That's Ezekiel 28, verse 15. He said, Thou was thou was perfect in thy ways from the day when thou was created until what iniquity was found in thee. So the day God found it. The next verse, please. And what did God do to him? He said, By the multitude of the mighty under thou filled thy knees with violence, and thou art sin, therefore I will cast thee as a profane out of the mountain of God and I will destroy the all covering terrible from the midst of the stones of fire look at that it was a terrible 
But God said, I will cast you away as a profane thing. Why? Because iniquity was found. So no matter the glorious destiny the Lord has for a generation, are you with me? As long as the enemy succeed in introducing that thing, that person will be cast away. See, don't let anybody fake you with grace. Don't let anybody fake you with grace. Don't let anybody fake you and tell you you are eternally secured. See, when you read the word believe in the Bible, it is not a past tense. So it is a continuous tense. So if you keep believing, you are safe. The day you stop believing, you are gone. There is nothing like eternal security. You are in Christ <laughs> by purity. Are you with me? One thing that I want you to see. Oh my. I wish we had time to teach tonight, but that's what the Spirit wanted us to do. That's what we have done. And what He wants us to be doing, and that's what we are doing now. Now listen. Paul came, and then Paul came and said, after he has shown us the error of those men in 2 Timothy chapter 2 then he came in verse 19 he said nevertheless the foundation of God standeth sure having this seal <sighs> now, now that that thing the bible called foundation he's talking about the church he's calling the church the foundation of what of God now the church is the foundation, not the whole building. The whole building is the kingdom. Are you with me? The church is what? And God is building a spiritual house. <laughs> that will eventually culminate to become the kingdom. Ah. Is somebody here? The church is the foundation. But God is saying, listen. You, you might see people misbehaving all around. But listen. Oh, the foundation stands well. Sure. And having this seal, it is a tradition in the olden days, in those, in those times, that for houses and buildings and foundations to have seals, to have inscriptions upon them. To have a writing upon them. And most of the time, the writing consists the name of those who build the, those who build the buildings. That's why when you read the book of Revelation, you are going to see on the foundations of the New Jerusalem, the names of the apostles of Christ. We are written upon it. For apostles are foundation layers. They are the ones that gave us the doctrines. See, I'm in this sea. The Lord knew them. But, mm, 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 mm. you didn't hear that. The Lord knew them that are his. See, don't be deceived. He knows whether you belong to him or not. You are the only one deceiving yourself. Oh. He knows. You don't think he knows? He knows. You think he doesn't know that Judas was silly? Huh? You think he doesn't know? Omo ba tin dia laka. Until the ninja. Oh, you think he does not know that you are having some kisses behind and then some crushes after. And then and then you think he does not. Know? You think you think you can hide all those things under tongues. He knows. He knows them that are his. And in the days when he's going to come, he will come for them that are his.
That was why he rejected Elia in spite of his stature before Samuel. You can deceive the anointed of the Lord. You can't deceive God of the anointed. In the days when the Lord will come, he will come for the pure ones. He said, I look at their hearts. And that's why when David came, he said, who shall ascend the hill of the Lord and who shall come to solid place? See, he that has a clean hands. And what? So that pure heart thing, that pure heart thing. See, your mountain, your level in God will be the common level until you come to the place of purity. Uh, 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 common level, that's where you're going. Your prayer will remain a common prayer until you come to the place. See, do I, can I tell you this? Uh, listen, oh, it was the priest that God sanctified and separated from people where the people that are eating the hollow bread. Common bread are for common people. Uh, in 2021, are you with me? Uh, many churches, what they will be eating is common bread. Not hollow bread. Because only men that are pure that can come to the holy place, those are the people that will eat hollow bread. God, you see, the mind of God will be shot from many places. They will hear common things everywhere, but the very heart of God will be in few places where purity is embraced. That's why we are calling you to this culture now. Many people will open the Bible. Are you with me? And it will appear to them like newspaper. God, good salmon will be popular because only men that can come to the place of purity are you with me will receive our Lord bread you know that man told David in 1 Samuel chapter 21 he said there is no common bread here huh? except those bread that are hollow I said if, do, if your young men at least so those of you that think sexual purity is the highest of is she is the least is the smallest and, 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 and in any case many of you are virgin but you are not pure nobody has slept nobody has slept with you but actually nothing is pure He knows that. He said, I found for myself a king in the house of Jesse. When did he find him? Huh? And they brought seven. How many did they bring? Abi? They brought seven, Abi. Is that not seven? Eh? And out of the seven, the one he found was not there. And they already came for ceremonial sanctification. Eh? That emergency sanctification they do for you in church so that you can sing. That five minutes prayer you do before you join choir. Hmm. You know that kind of prayer now? Eh? They do that emergency one for you. The one you do before you start service. Everybody gather. And then you do that one. Praise God. That five minutes. God will allow you to do that one now. Just come and eat. But in the days when God is looking for a serious king, he will not anoint you. Let me even tell you. See, from 2021, anointing will not come on the head of just anybody. It will only come for the pure. Cry to tomorrow, God will not anoint you. The anointing will no longer be wasted. My spirit will not forever be disgraced in man. There are many fathers that have enjoyed the faithfulness of God. Are you with me? Praise God. This thing I'm announcing is big. Even me myself, I'm crying within me as I'm announcing. But that which they've enjoyed, we cease. 
until they come to another layer of purity. In fact, if they are not careful, are you with me now? God will pay them off. You didn't hear me? What will God do? Like a man pays, he that worked for him pays wages to his laborer. And that will be the, that will be the end. The foundation of God, he knew them that are his. He knew them. He has, their, he has their name. He knows their name. He knows their destination. He knows the disposition of their heart. He knows what's in the, he knows what is in their heart. He knows what they will do in the future. He knows them by experience. You, you, you are wondering why God will tell somebody something and he will not tell you. He knows your heart now. Anybody may you would have laughed after. He knows your heart. He won't tell you go to the mountain in the night. You know you know you know even hear you. Why will he tell you come to Emily when he knows you have the ambition of going to Dubai? And your ambition is so loud that you cannot hear him. So he won't he won't talk to you. He will go to a man that is seeking him and say, Go this place. He knows that even this one, if this one cry and say, God, but why? He knows he will go. So he will talk to that one, not you. The Lord knew them that are his. And I said, Listen, let them that name it, the name of who? Christ, depart. Don't go for, go, go and be seeking Greek word for depart from iniquity. And then you begin to explain yourself out of the, you see, the way you explain yourself with this matter of grace, that's why you explain yourself out of the short dealings of God. You have been crying all this why nothing is happening. People are only getting more decayed before you. Depart from iniquity. No, don't go and be lost. In, don't go and be lost in after sisters and then you say all is well. There's no condemnation now to them. You are condemned. In fact, you are not in Christ. Depart from iniquity. That word depart is, is a radical word. And he didn't say, I will help you depart. He said, you depart. So you see, can I, say, can I say this to you? The day you accepted him as your Lord and Savior, are you with me now? A new step stepped in that gave you the willingness. He is at work in you to will and to do his good pleasure. So if you don't do it, it's because you don't want to do it. It is because you don't want to do it. There is enough help. Hmm? There is what? There is enough help. The help of the spirit in you and the help of the intercession of Christ above. So combine the two together. Are you with that help? Huh? Are you still with that help? Is for elevate for for seeing that is able to save to the uttermost those that came to the Lord through him. Seeing he live to forever make intercession for them. That's him. Are you with me? And he said, I will send you another comforter. That word another comforter simply means of the same kind. The same kind in power, in authority, in everything. Now he is living on the inside of you. And yet he is above interceding for you. And yet you say you are weak. No, it is a deliberate weakness. It's a deliberate one. And I will show you why it is deliberate. The day you fell, it was because you said no to his voice. He instructed you not to go. And there was a strength not to go. There was a strength not to go. You just decided to say, let me go. And he left you. And so, 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 can I say this to you? Eh? Can I say this to you? He, he, you, he, you we are not, it, wasn't this. it wasn't the strength of the temptation. It was because you wanted to taste it. So you have no excuse. He has spoken to us. I choose the way of the Lord. 
Ina nama kabala hante ne mo shabala dia. Ereza barate, nanga barate na sukebeli ante hede no mo kushabala dia ne ne mo siya dehe kota ya. Rada ba o samala yehe kabalante le masibili adayas. Adonai, 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 Adonai. I choose the way of the Lord. For the way of the Lord is the way. listening to us now you are, you are listening that you are helping and you are aiding someone to cover iniquity the Lord asked me to tell you to repent and the repentance must be tonight said tonight must be that you must take your hands off completely you must take your hands out completely 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 in every way listen to me please don't get distracted Because if you don't take your hands off, the Lord said, I will come and I will expose you in a place where it will take years for you to be able to raise your head. See, I would do that because I love you. But your head will be lowered for many years. Because I will expose you and that will make so many to be disappointed in you. So therefore, 
the brokenness you are rejecting now I will force you into it you are listening to us in fact the Lord said to me that you understand it clearly as I said it now that you understand it Otherwise, I will have gone further. But listen to me. I'm giving you this as we bring it to a close. Amen. Twenty twenty one, you must run after these two things. Amen. You see, they are the men that the Lord will approve with fire. They are who? They are the people that God will approve with fire. Men that come into this. Number one, accuracy with his mind and will. Hallelujah. Please, I plead with you. Ensure you take no step except he's the one that said it. And please don't believe anything until it is authenticated by his word. Did you get that? So you see, the matter of accuracy with his mind and his will, are you with me now? Flies on the on two wings. The wings of fellowshipping with the spirit to hear his voice. Are you with me? And the, and the wings of fellowshipping with his revealed word to know so it is not a season of flying on prophecy untested. As a matter of fact, 2021 a lot of prophets will be disgraced. Because are you with me? Amen. First prophecy will not trend. You know, God gave us index this year. You know how many people prophesy about coronavirus? Huh? And coronavirus virus them. How many of you know that? So there are some prophecy of 2021 that you are going to hear. All of it from January to December will be zero. In accuracy and precision. He will only give the secret of the year to his own. It is going to be a season We are only sons we strive. That's one. You get it? Then number two. Are you with me? Pursue purity. Pursue. What? Did you hear me? Hello? Did you hear me? And then in the course of pursuing purity, you must see assemblies you go see if teachers you listen to and see if what enters your mind there are some complaints that you must stop keeping if you keep on with those companies I tell you you will leave the company of the Puritans. You won't fellowship with them anymore.
the fire has touched you receive grace to sustain it yeah. you get that it's very important it's very important don't try to advance in becoming too many teachers no the days of teaching are coming huh the days of what? The days of teaching are coming. When you will not be the one struggling for platform. Huh? <laughs> ah. No. Don't go and fast and pray and say, God, give me a platform. If God give you one night, it will kill you. The days of platform are coming. Are coming. Are coming. In the days when you are called to manifest, may your size not be small. Yeah. You don't understand that prayer. I say, may your size not be small. Yeah. May we not come and after we have long waited and when we see you, we are still asking, are you the one we are expecting or we should expect another? Actually, you are the one that we are waiting for. But you have come too small. So when we saw you, those index that you should come with, you are not with them. So we are, we just say, are you the one? Or we should expect another. So I say it again into your lives. In the days of your coming forth, may you not be small. Yeah. May you have waited enough to be thoroughly baked. Yeah. May this process that the Lord has started not be suddenly abrupted by you. Yeah. Thank you, Father. Can you begin to worship the name of the Lord? If indeed He has done something in your life, can you worship Him from your heart? Worship him, give him all the presents. Praise the Lord of my soul. Oh, oh my soul. Worship, worship. He's His holy. holy name. Lift up your voice and sing like it. Sing like never before. Oh, oh my Oh, worship is holy name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, my soul. Oh, my soul. Worship, worship.
Can we pray for